Welcome back to Ellen in the Box. It's your girl, Nicole. Welcome, everybody. How is everybody doing today? Happy V-Day. Although I think Valentine's Day should be every day. Anyways, today's menu is going to be some grilled salmon and shrimp with stir-fried vegetable rice. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. If this is your first time joining, please like, share, subscribe on my YouTube channel, as well as my Instagram. Follow over there. All right, so I'm going to start with the Old Bay. You yeah, already know I love it. have to have it on my seafood. Next, I'm going to add some black pepper, as you can see. And then I am going to also add some oyster sauce. Yes, I'm definitely doing a, a Cajun-style meal tonight. All right? All right, so what I'm going to add is also some unsalted Goya all-purpose seasoning. And I'm gonna mix that all in. Definitely gonna mix that all up. Now, if you guys are seeking a caterer in the Massachusetts area, link me up. All right, to my grill, I am going to be adding some sesame seed oil. Now, I'm gonna add a good amount. You can add any amount you want. All right, I'm going to put my salmon on the grill and make sure that it gets well cooked. I'm gonna love my things proper, but not too dry. So be very mindful when you're cooking your salmon, okay? You don't want to overcook it so it's too dry. All right, all right, so I'm just gonna add my shrimps here and put them in formation. Just like that, military style, you feel me? <laughs> I just love to make myself crack up. Anyways, back to the food. All right, so I have that all set there. I'm gonna make sure I just get all that sauce on there. Yes, be a bit seafood. I said one. Mm hmm. Haven't used my grill in a minute. All right, so I'm just going to turn it over. You see, it has a nice little char around the edges there. I'm going to flip my shrimp over. Now, if you don't have a grill, um, you can actually do this in a skillet as well. Okay, or whatever pot you have. Be creative, right? All right, so now that I got those all turned over, I'm going to chop some onion scallions I should say mm -hmm, because that's going to be incorporated into my vegetables all right so let me just get these diced up nice and neat and proper the way I like it all right I'm using the smaller cutting board tonight because it ain't really much to chop and once these are chopped I just have those in there toss them in the bucket Going to add some more mushrooms. I already have some in the bucket, but I feel like I, I, I need just a few more. Just a few more. All right, I'm just rinsing those off. And as you can see, the shrimp and the salmon is grilling well. All right, so let's just get these in the bucket over here. All right, put that in the sink. And I'm going to have some zucchini, red onions. Now you can chop it yourself, but I already bought it chopped uh, from my local supermarket. Like I always say, Work smarter, not harder. All right, so I'm gonna turn back over the shrimps again because I like my seafood with some color. You understand? Yeah. All right, I have some roasted garlic that I made earlier. All right, so I'm just gonna put those in a container, separate them out of the shell. And now if you love your garlic roasted, you can just put some olive oil, put it in a foil paper and wrap it in the oven and place it in the oven, I should say. Ooh, I think the Valentine's wine is kicking in. <laughs> anyways, anyways, back to the food. All right, so I'm going to add some general sauce, sauce and I'm going to also incorporate some sesame seed oil again and some more oyster sauce in this mix. And this is going to be my base for my seafood. I'm going to also squeeze some oranges. You know, I couldn't, I didn't have the time to take out the lemon squeezer, so I'm just using this strainer. So I don't have any pulp in this mix. I'm just going to mix that all in, incorporate that in very well, and I'm gonna baste my fish with it, okay? Baste the fish and also my shrimp. Mmm, if you guys can just smell what I'm smelling. I know, I notice I say that all the time because I'm so serious, I'm such a foodie, I love good food. Come to my house, you will never be hungry. All right, so I'm gonna turn those over. You see how those have a nice little char? And believe it or not, they're not gonna be overcooked. Definitely not going to be overcooked. Just going to have a nice, juicy, plump taste to it. I love seafood. Haven't done some in a 
little while. I did some fish cakes the other day. You can go ahead and follow that recipe. I have all of that listed. So I'm gonna take my salmon off the grill as well as my fish. Those are done. Oh my gosh, I wish you guys could taste this. So now I'm gonna add some more uh, sesame seed oil to the grill. And I'm going to crack a couple eggs here because I'm going to incorporate that into the fry rice. So just, that's number one, egg one, egg two. And I'm going to add some salt into my egg and as well as some black pepper. Just a dash, a dash and a fling. Yes, I'm going to measure them things here. I'm going to work with it. All right, I'm going to whisk that up. Make sure I get everything incorporated into the egg. Pull the grill down in the camera so you guys can see. I'm so detail oriented. Ah, just love it. Anyways, all right, whisking that up properly. Make sure I get everything incorporated. And I'm gonna, just gonna pour that right onto the hot oil. Throw that over there in the sink. And I'm going to go ahead and just flip this around. Even though I'm not using the right utensil for my grill. Gotta be careful not to scratch it up. All right, so I'm just gonna Chop up these eggs, scramble them up, make sure they scramble them good. And this is going to be such a delicious meal. Oh my gosh, when I say fulfilling and just tasty. All right, so what I'm going to do is throw my mushrooms and my scallions right on top of the egg. Make sure I get everything out. I like my salmon away. It's nothing around here. Not at all. All right, so I'm just going to mix that in a little bit, incorporate it. And I'm going to also just use the spatula and chop up the, you know, Chop up the mushrooms a little bit. I think I cut them a little too big. I did, but I just made that my extra. All right, I'm gonna put the zucchini and the shredded carrots and sweet peppers on the side of the grill over here. And I'm gonna also add some seasoning to that. I just wanna make sure I keep that separated. Let me just cut up some of these mushrooms while I'm here. Let me just chop them up a bit. All right, now you can leave them as at whatever size you would like them to be. Do what makes you happy. You feel me? All right, so I'm just gonna chop that up, chop that up, cut it up, look more, and now I'm going to incorporate the rice. Ooh, that's a lot. You know, I always try to cook in small portions, but I just can't. I don't know how to cook in small portions. <laughs> I'm just blessed that way. Anyways, say so yeah, I like to feed people. So I'm just gonna throw some more sesame seed on both the vegetables and the rice. I'm going to add some salt to the vegetables as well. I'm just gonna stir up that rice and add some black pepper to that. And I'm just gonna mix it all in together. Only thing missing, you guys, is my soya sauce. I didn't have any. I thought I had a whole bottle, but I didn't. But it's still going to be delicious, regardless, because I'm the chef, yeah. Get creative, make it happen, right? All right, so I'm just gonna keep incorporating the eggs and the mushrooms and all these good things into the rice fold everything in properly like I say everything are salt out all right throw some salt on the rice now I had some pre-steamed rice all right rice that was already cooked I should say all right so that's what I'm using I made that earlier today and so let me just put that to the side to get it out of the way kind of cut time short on my video all right all right, so you guys, you see how everything just look well sought out? Yes, adapt me at all, but food sell off. Definitely can't sell a shop. Again, if you are seeking a personal caterer, I am local in the Massachusetts area. Link me up. My menu is coming soon. Working on that. All right, so I'm just turning over the vegetables because I wanted to get a char on the other side. And this is zucchini, red onions, sweet peppers, and shredded carrots. All right, so I got the rice off the grill. Just wanna make sure that everything is done. And now it's time to plate this. Now, I want it neat enough, cause I just some steer some of this, I go put it down like that. You see how that look? Proper, Wah. All right, so next I'm going to place my salmon on the plate. Well, char and salt out good. Place my two pieces of salmon. I'm gonna place some shrimp on top of the rice, so, you know, try to make the plate look a little festive. Mm -hmm. We all eat with our eyes before we actually eat the food, okay? All right, so you can see here, I'm just in adding my vegetables to the plate, and there we have it, you guys. Yes, this is stir-fry vegetable rice and salmon. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, share, subscribe, and follow on both my social media platforms. Bye.